This is STEM EDU Studio as well. STEM in Education, CEO Air and Space, Principles of Engineering, and Mr. Johnson. Today we would thank scientifically to explore STEM in Education, Sea, Air and Space, Energy Charge and Uncharged Process involving induction, induction, and convection. First, let's discuss the first law of thermodynamics, conservation of energy. It states, in an isolated system, energy cannot be created nor destroyed. It transfers from one form to another. Conduction. Conduction is a process of redistributing positive and negative charges from one object to another with direct contact. Induction. Induction is a process of redistributing positive and negative charges from one object to another without contact. Convection involves the density, fluids, and liquids. Let's start with our C Lab project, Underwater Robotics. The conduction process begins with our integrated circuit. Our integrated circuit consists of microprocessor, resistor, capacitors, diodes, and is connected with electrical wire. Electrical current flows through these electrical wires through our electrical motor. Our electrical motors create an electromagnetic field which begins our induction process with our mechanical propeller system. These propeller systems begin to rotate within the electromagnetic field. I'll we'll demonstrate the upper thruster first. On. The left thruster. On. And the right thruster. On. Off. With our induction process, we have another process that's called polarization. The polarization process reverses the current flow, which allows our thrusters to rotate in a different direction. In this case, reverse direction. The upper thruster, I can reverse it. It's in the reverse direction, which allows this robot to submerge. This left thruster, I can put that in reverse. The right thruster, the electrical current is flowing in reverse. Now let's take a look at our air lab 1.1, hot air balloon test. This is our indoor hot air balloon tester. The conduction process involves an electrical power cord using AC current. Our indoor hot air balloon tester is transferring heat. The hot air is being transferred to the balloon which is not connected to the electrical current. We call this convection. T minus five, four, three, two, one, lift off. Now let's talk about our air lab 1.2 lab project, the wind tunnel. A wind tunnel induction process involved the power supply. This power supply carries electrical current to our input system. Our input system is a part of our process which allows air to flow. This air flow is not connected directly to our electrical system. Now let's talk about our Space Lab Project 1.1. The conduction process involves the electrical wires. These electrical wires are connected to the integrated circuit and to the test tube and graphite. The graphite and test tube is submerged in water and that process we call convection because it's a fluid. These fluids are then separated by using electrical current. A positive terminal collects oxygen and our ground terminal collects hydrogen. Space Lab 1.2 involves our straw rocket valve. The conduction process involves our lever and mechanical system, which 
it's located at the bottom, it has a spring. This spring transfers energy into the convection process, which allows pneumatic pressure to be used by this straw run. T minus five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Thank you for joining us today. This is Tim E.D. Studios Live, Tim and Education, Principles of Engineering, Mr. Johnson, Thinking Scientifically. See you next time.